today we're going for a ride out to Isla Verde. I actually looked and almost lived out there when I came in March to find a place to live in Puerto Rico, um, but it ended up turning out the elevator and the building did not work, so I instead chose a place in Condado, which I'm really excited about. So today, I'm gonna be telling you guys all about the insider on how to get a driver's license in Puerto Rico. So I found a little walkway off the road here. You can see my helmet line. So that's what I look like every time I take off my helmet. Good to know. Give you a bit of an idea on what the beach is like over here uh, on the Isla Verde side. It seems like there's a lot less people. It is though um, a Monday afternoon, but it seems like the condos on this end are a little nicer. So I'm thinking the storm didn't hit them as badly. So today I'm gonna to be giving you step-by-step -step directions on exactly how to get your driver's license in Puerto Rico, which is part of the Closer Connections test. Number one, get an address. I tried to do many things um, before getting an address and it made it very complicated. And so my recommendation would be first, find a place to live and then you can go out there and buy yourself a scooter, a car, get your driver's license, but first, get an address. Number two, I personally went to License & Co, which is located right above the grocery store, the Supermax in Condado, which is just right across the street from the Doubletree. Sometimes it takes them a while to get through two to three people in line, but once you talk to someone, you need to give them your social security card, um, proof of address, so like a lease agreement, and also your passport. It costs $130 and that will get you the verified driver's license and ID card, which will actually let you travel within the United States and that will be accepted by TSA, is what I have been told. After you pay your $130 and fill out all your paperwork, uh, basically what's gonna happen is they're gonna give you time frames of when you can go get your photo taken at the DMV. The DMV is located in Carolina, which is about 10 miles from the San Juan Condado area. When I got to the DMV, I was basically put in a separate line, which was away from everyone else. There was at least probably close to 100 people sitting in that DMV. But I was in and out of there within about 10 minutes. It took me longer to actually find the right line to stand in, because I think they're changing it due to construction. And then after that, um, I sat down with the lady within a few minutes, and then a few minute, within a few minutes, I took my photo, and I was able to get out of there. So I went and filled out the paperwork on a Friday. I took my photo the following Friday. So I went to License & Co. on a Friday. The following Friday, I went to the DMV to take my photo. Um, then just the Monday after, the Friday that I took my DMV, the, I took my photo at the DMV. They left me a voicemail saying that my ID was already ready for pickup. I was very surprised and glad that it only took that long, but now I'm officially licensed to drive in Puerto Rico. But this is the tip that no one tells you. I have heard absolutely no one talk about this on the Facebook threads or any of the videos, but it's something to really consider to be able to pass the Closer Connections test. I met an individual who did a lot of studying on the people that moved to the U.S. Virgin Islands for those tax incentives. He made it very clear to me that a lot of people got arrested in the process because they weren't following the, the rules. From my understanding and the articles that I've read, it sounds like the rules were very unclear on the closer connection and the presence test. He made it very clear to me that you want to kind of go above and beyond the closer connections test just to be safe. He informed me that even though I had to denounce my California driver's license and hand it over to License and Co. when I applied for my Puerto Rican driver's license, that they will probably not contact California and tell them to cancel my driver's license. So the moral of the story is you should actually get in contact with uh, the DMV of whatever state you're from, where you're coming from, and you should actually cancel that license yourself and confirm that it is actually not valid anymore so that you do not run into issues if you are ever challenged on your closer connection test to Puerto Rico. So I hope that helps you in figuring out um, and getting everything in order to make sure that you have a closer connection to Puerto Rico than where you were living previously. I hope you have an amazing day. If you have any questions about getting your license, please leave a comment below. If you are enjoying my content and you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Go out there and create a life you love. Oh,